Uh, first of all, and most importantly, I would say, for sure, on the great error of modern Western philosophy after the Middle Ages was to divorce ratio from intellectus. That is the reasoning faculty in the human mind from the intellect and confusing the two. Not only divorcing it, but reducing the intellect to reason. That is, I think, what is at the heart of his critique of modern philosophy. Secondly, his critique of modern philosophy was that this kind of philosophy reduced metaphysics to a branch of philosophy, and later on, of course, rejected it, and uh, did not understand that metaphysics is the science of the real, with the capital R, the supreme science, what I've called the scientia sacra in some of my writings, and that it cannot be a branch of any form of philosophy, even traditional philosophy. Thirdly, uh, Schuard tried to point out the various dimensions of the human reality which different philosophical schools left aside in the modern period. Uh, the noetic faculties within us, the reality of the soul and its multifarious levels, all of these which were left aside by the modern consideration of who man is. And he was on the basis of that very critical of the humanism cum rationalism, which characterizes post-medieval Western philosophy in the West. Because it is a homocentric rather than a theocentric way of looking at reality and reduces man to only the earthly man. And he wrote some very brilliant pages about that, about the reduction of human beings to simply terrestrial man. Worldliness became the norm of judging who man was. And finally, he was very critical of Western philosophy surrendering itself to an empirical science, which he happens with Kant, and uh, therefore making the intellect an instrument which is unable to judge the essential truths of things, as Kant had done. But this, uh, what we can call physicalism, which starts in the 18th century of re reducing philosophy to a handmaid of physics, and that is a modern physics of Newtonian physics, is something also that he criticized in many of his works.